So the most rational investor among us would say that never put all your eggs into one basket, but I'm going for broke here. In the past, my, my issue has always been that I've never gone for broke. Take exhibit A, Bitcoin. I've known about Bitcoin for a while, and if I had just put an extra zero on the end of my initial investment, I would be riding off into the sunset. Take exhibit B, Tesla. I jumped in Tesla just after the March crash of 2020. Similar story. Just put in an extra zero and I would be off into the sunset. Now for my next trade, I'm I'm going for broke. I've added the extra zero and I'm putting it all on the line. You know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, it means the difference from doing pretty okay to doing pretty fucking well. Now my next trade is the one which I've done the most research in. It's the one where I've done, where I feel like it's the most fundamentally sound. But this video really is for myself, to be honest, to outline my thesis, outline my conviction in this trade and to really come back here. And if I ever start to doubt myself, or anything just come back and watch the video and look at all of the points that i raised and kind of like just re-motivate myself of why i'm so excited at the moment so my next investment thesis the one trait to rule them all is uranium and uranium mining companies well just uranium mining companies. first let me get this out of the bat yeah i get it you know nuclear energy can be used for some devastating effects like weapons of mass destructions Personally, I'm 100% against this. I feel like everybody should just give up their stockpiles, destroy them, destroy the know-how how, of how to make them, stop anybody ever making them. Just like the sword can be used to enslave, it can be used to liberate. Just like the stroke of a pen can set someone free, it can also incarcerate them. Anything in this world can be used in a good way and a bad way. It is really the person controlling it that is using it, right? So therefore, uranium can be used in one of the most positive and most beneficial ways to our planet. And I'll get to that in point number two of my investment thesis. So stick around. So my two main reasons for uranium investing and why I think it's going to be why I think it's going to go parabolic and really give some life-changing gains. One is the age-old story of supply and demand. Uranium has been in a decade-long bear market now, with the last bull market coming between 2007 and 2011, which ended after the Fukushima reactor meltdown and the subsequent closing of more nuclear reactors in Japan and around the world. However, there are signs that the market is ready for another bull market in the near future. The current spot price of uranium is near all-time low. This is largely due to a surplus of uranium and an increase in decommissioned reactors. Both of these are the results of uranium reaching the apex of its previous bubble. Because the bubble was so high, lots of miners etc were, were producing more uranium because the spot price was very lucrative. But due to the Fukushima disaster, Reactors were coming down, so there was less need for uranium and demand was low, which led to a very low price, which we're seeing now. But that, however, is changing over the last couple of years and should continue to change at a parabolic rate, especially given the events of COVID. Cameco, the second largest uranium provider, has shut down the uranium mining operations indefinitely and Kazakhstan has initiated a 20% reduction in uranium mining, Kazakhstan being one of the biggest producers of uranium. Given the current spot price and the incentive to operate mines for all but the biggest miners is not attractive at all. Basically the more junior miners or producers, explorers etc at the current uranium spot price of $30 it's just really not lucrative for them to actually even um, even start to explore or produce mines. Therefore, therefore the price has to increase for miners to have an incentive to mine there is a real deficit of uranium and this is only even increasing because the demand for uranium is increasing massively. So the World Nuclear Association states that there are currently 50 reactors under construction with another 150 on order, which will all need uranium. These factors contribute to a massive increase in demand as supply tightens, thus the spot price of uranium must increase for the incentive for producers to start mining uranium from the ground. Most mines will be brought back up to production around the 55 uh, USD mark, but that won't eliminate the deficit. It can only reduce it. 
price is much higher than 55 i needed to bring the market back in balance so there you have it that is basically the story of supply and demand one of the most crucial and fundamental reasons why anything would ever go up right but let's get on to the second point and the second point of how actually how it's you're kind of like we're kind of investing in the future of our world as well in the future of our of our planet right like like everything around us is is moving towards green energy biden the current president of america has re-entered the paris accord by 2030 in the uk all new vehicles have to be ev now now if you think about it we're moving to uh clean energy more ev cars will be on the road therefore we're going to need more electricity in a cleaner and sustainable way renewable energy and you may be surprised to know that uranium is clean energy what about wind and solar? Sure, if you live in an area like the Nordics where it's where it's easy for hydraulic energy and wind energy because the weather is like cray cray over there. But, you know, not every place is going to be sunny and not every place is going to be super windy. And you also have to understand that solar and wind energy is so expensive. I'm putting up some screenshots here that you can see the comparison. And know that Germany, who has the one of the largest wind wind turbines in all of um, in the world, has the most expensive energy, right? We want clean energy, but we don't want it to be expensive. We want renewable, but we also want it to be affordable. And Germany just has some ridiculous energy prices. So... As you can just see from the screenshots, wind and solar, of course, we'll use it alongside nuclear. And I think a nuclear will be a bigger part of that just because it can run 24-7, you know. It's, it's cheaper as well. Producing it is cheaper, zero emission. It's like a no-brainer. And that's just really going to increase the demand and need for more reactors. You know, how investing in random is actually going to be investing in the future of our planet as well. And sure, you could say, what about another nuclear meltdown or a reactor melt? And that could happen, you know, with any trade, there is some inherent risk. But, you know, the two two main disasters that happened, uh, I only read mainly about the Fukushima one. It's like, it's, it's the most recent one. Like Japan was hit with one of the worst earthquakes ever to be recorded. And on top of that, they were also hit with a tsunami. Those are some really unprecedented circumstances that really took took the reactor offline. But since then, technology has advanced. Nuclear reactors are becoming safer. You even have these small module reactors, which they just basically shut down if anything happens. So the technology really is improving to make it safer. So yeah, of course, there's a inherent risk with everything. If you want to invest. I'm not telling you to do anything. Like I said, this video is for myself. But if you want to invest, I think the easiest, safest and uh, laziest way to do it, which is probably the best, is just to invest in the global shares uranium utf unfortunately in the uk we can't invest in this so i would just pick some individual companies i'll just chuck up a few companies which i'm personally invested in that's that i'm gonna go now i don't know what's happening with my hair but who cares so that's that um i'm going to now go train some muay thai yes peace folks